Hello and welcome to our second day in London. We're seven in London, obviously at the moment I'm in my car, we are back home. This is the only time that I've had all week, just some quiet time, so I'm in my car, it's the only quiet space. It's really nice to not be able to hear anything, to be quite honest, more about that in future videos. But London, day two, we had such a great second day. We went to, it took us ages to get there. We went, because my sister lives East London, and we went to the London Wetland Centre. <coughs> Excuse me, I am suffering at the moment with sore throat, cold and everything. I went to the London Wetland Centre, which is all the way over west, so we had to get, we had to walk, well we didn't have to, this is the way we chose to do it, we walked for like half an hour to get to the tube station and then, because then the walk meant that we could just get straight across, we were on the right line to go all the way across, um, across London, on the, I don't know what line we were on actually. No idea what line we took, but anyway, we got the got the tube across, and then when we got the tube, it was like a forty minute walk from there. So we decided to get a bus. So we got a bus um, to like just at the end of the road, and then we had like a five minute walk up to the London Wetland Centre. The London Wetland Centre is part of the WWT, which is Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. And I've only just realised that I have always thought it was called it was the World Wetlands Trust. Apparently it's not, it's the Wild, Wildfowl, Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. The WWT is a conservation charity? I guess it's a charity. It works globally, I think it's globally, to improve wetlands for wildlife. So we have one near us. There's only eight in the United Kingdom and there's one pretty near our house. It's about 10 minutes away. We went um, just last week actually. <coughs> Excuse me and uh, we went because we became a member it's like 80 pound to become a member of this and because there's one like right on our doorstep we figured we would become members and like near us every winter the geese so many geese they like fly past our house and they like they're coming south for winter and they go and rest at martin Mere, which is our local wwt center here's the place People don't look wet. People don't. People haven't got wellies on. Oh. Maybe we've, we've over um, <laughs> emphasised. Yeah, we knew about it. To, today at the London, this is all the things that's happening: otters, magpie, geese, swans. And the reason we went was because there was this puddle jumping championship. It was on. Time out. If you ever you could like what to do in London, time out London had um, this puddle jumping championship thing. So we went there for this puddle jumping championship. And to be honest, I was quite disappointed in the puddle jumping championship and we didn't actually take part in it. But there was this area where it was just all mud. It was just it was just basically mud. <laughs> and we we went prepared, we took our wellies, we had wellies for everyone, little squirt had like a dungaree what are they called just like a waterproof dungaree thing so that he could go splashing around or whatever it wasn't what i thought it was because like the pictures i thought it was just like big puddles that you just splashed in which i think it eventually was but we were we'd gone by that point we were like we'd got bored of waiting so we just played around in this mud which was pretty good fun whoa it's very muddy Does he need his we've come to a little on? muddy madness Hello, part look how whoa muddy it is. and you do a big splash and see how high you can get the mud up <gasps> Do you want to put some pants on and you can splash in the mud? Yeah. Send lava into the mud. This is... You have to jump in it, you can just stand there. Yeah, just, there's just a big muddy wet bit there. I'm stuck! <laughs> and then there's... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> I want him to go. Yeah. look. <laughs> goes in the mud. No. Oh, look at him in the mud. Jump in the mud, Stephen. No. <laughs> no. Do you want to? Do you think I should not do this? Stop! Don't even. <laughs> it was even holding you. Try and do it. No. Are you scared in case you fall in the mud? No, because when I get to the end, I'm still going to have to go in the mud. Okay. <laughs>
We saw a ton of wildlife. There was swans and otters and all different ducks and things. It was it's really good fun. Like and little kids really like it. And we fed them. We like, like buy bags. Actually, no, we didn't feed them. You couldn't buy bags of food. That was at Martin Mere when we were when we went to the one near us in London. They didn't seem to have anywhere where you could buy bags of food. I'm sure you could, but we didn't see them anyway. So we went round and saw all of the different wildlife. Oh, look at all the birds and oh look there look on the floor see the yes. white white over there there's a little bird nest eggs. bird eggs I don't know what bird is. you see the swans they're the white ones whoa what are they doing what? oh those two are fighting <laughs> Oh, he's over here, look. What's the purpose of keeping the otters trapped up then? Look, he's swimming in the water. Because they're quite rat-like, really, aren't they? I get the water. Yeah. But rats like the water. They look crazy. They're just like, they've got like a red head and then white down the side. Whoa, look at him. Did you see him lift his head up there? And then like two like sails at the back of him. Oh, like that one over there. It's the one that's, you know the one that's swimming over there? Yeah. That one's the um, one that spins a bit. Oh, is it? Sails spin. What do you see the Planes, planes, planes constantly. You see those two little ones? Yeah. Which one the babies? Oh really? Oh, of those ones? Yeah. This? Look, it's broken there. <laughs> it looks like you're just in the... Right there. Breaks there. Push don't know, down. like in Breaks the there. reeds or whatever these are. Do you see him with the blue beak? Are you not bothered? You can't really see on camera how green they are. No, they are. No, you know what they are? Yeah. What are they? Crickets. Are they? That's a robin there as well. Oh, yeah. Not as much. Oh, yeah, there. Oh. <laughs> It was crazy because you're in like this peaceful calmness and just like with ducks quacking and things and nature all around you and then but it's right near Heathrow and constantly these huge big like jumbo jets are going past. Stephen wants to go on that plane. And Stephen actually saw Stephen was like I want to go on a 747. So I was like well do you know what let's go. So we were, we were looking afterwards and um we're thinking of possibly doing I was looking like what routes like who flies <coughs> 747 excuse me. And we're thinking of possibly doing, this is a big, big maybe, but possibly doing like a New York at, um, in at New Year or something because they do like a Heathrow to New York. We were just looking at different routes. Cause like if you want to go on a 747, rather than just saying it, you know, let, let's, let's like do it. So maybe, maybe that might be coming up in the, uh, in the, well, it definitely will be coming up in the future, but whether it'll be coming up this year or not, we'll have to wait and see. There was this wild walk that we did that was just it's like imagine trying to do it was all like balance beams and things and imagine doing that with a four-year-old that is <laughs> balance is just terrible Stephen, he's fine no problem with Stephen. then there's <coughs> me who's trying to vlog it and lara a blind person it was a bit chaotic but we managed all of us managed to get to the end with maybe like two fall-offs it wasn't too bad to be honest <laughs> The wild walk. Who's gonna fall off? Tyler. Lara. Balance beams and things. <laughs> you fall off, Lara. There's a lot of mud. Right. Okay. <laughs> and if you fall backwards, you fall into the pond. Yeah. <laughs> so you got mud on one side, a pond on the other. <laughs> oh, hang on, it's getting even muddier. It's, it goes for a long way. <laughs> Whoa, wobble, 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 wobble. Yay, wild walk done. 
And there was this, oh my goodness, there was this bridge at the end. It was such good fun. We had such an amazing time on this bridge because we had our work done and everything, so it was perfect. And it like, it was like a, not a drawbridge. Um, what are they called? This is what it looked like. And you can like run along it and it go, the bottom of it, the middle, like sunk into the water. And so you're like splashing it and stuff. I really, like went up and down that a few times and then oh my goodness this is not like me whatsoever I am not confrontational at all but we were on it and like, we would bounce up and down and stuff and there was a lady at the other side that was waiting and like literally until we stepped off and so I was like okay and she had like a little boy with him maybe like five or something and so I thought well maybe you know he doesn't like the jumping which fair enough if he doesn't like the jumping like Stephen you know he's a big lad and he's jumping up and down so we just sort of waited at the other side for them to get across and they were sort of like three quarters of the way across and squirt who is like he's four he's tiny as well like he's he, like he's just hardly weighs anything and he just like walked he went on the bridge and i was like oh come back let the let the other people cross and he just like did like a little hop jump like it was nothing like him doing a little jump was just like me walking or something anyway this woman went mad at him like flipped out on him saying stop jumping stop jumping and he, he doesn't he doesn't understand um particularly he wouldn't have understood what she was telling him and so i went to go to him to be like to say oh you know just stop jumping let the little boy get past he doesn't like jumping or whatever and as i'm getting and as i'm walking closer to him this woman is yelling at him to stop jumping and stuff and i was like wow calm down and she was she was like, and I don't know what she said. She said something, or, I can't remember, to be honest, what kind of happened. But I was fuming with her. I was like, just let it go. And then as she walked off, she said something that sounded like, now she said she didn't say it. She was like, you need to punish him because he did it or something. And I was like, whoa. Like, so I turned around and like, you don't, it just annoyed, the judgment, the judgment of her was just unbelievable. I was like, you need to punish him. I'm sure that's what she said. She said she didn't, because I was like, whoa, did you just say I needed to punish him? Because she doesn't know his story. She doesn't know, I don't know whether her child just didn't like, because she was like holding on to it. I don't know whether he had disability or something, which, you know, and even if he didn't have a disability, if he just doesn't like the jumping, fair enough. But to like go mad, she was just, she was just out of order, to be honest. And I was like, um, don't be having a go at me or whatever. And she just sort of, walked off she was like I didn't say anything I didn't say anything she just walked off and then Stephen and Laura were like she did she did say that that's what it sounded like anyway and it I, it was just it, it didn't ruin it but I just thought wow like like I was respectful of the fact that she didn't want us jumping on it and I mean honestly him square being on the bridge affected her little boy's walk on it as much as like her stepping probably but whatever even if she just she didn't want him on but it was just the aggressiveness and like if she'd have just said if she'd have shouted like i was obviously like the person like the guardian of this child if she'd have just said oh um i'm just seeing if people are walking past thinking who's this crazy like, crazy lady chatting to herself in the car um if she'd have just said oh do you mind um my little boy doesn't like jumping up you know, like just be polite about it but she just wasn't polite and it just rubbed me up the wrong way but anyway, the bridge was a lot of fun. We enjoyed it. Here you go. <laughs> does, it go does it go in the water? <gasps> right, we're in. We're going along the bridge. Yeah, just follow it round, Lara. Yeah, you'll get on the bridge. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, it's weird being in the middle. Ah! <laughs> I was just going to say, Stephen's go. being really look, evil. Look, she's thinking herself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we're in the water. Oh, I nearly dropped my phone in the water. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm glad we've got welly. <laughs> Can you not do it at all? <laughs> go, go on, go forwards. Oh, just from log to log. Yeah, just go from log to log. <laughs> Stephen is just sitting back laughing at him. 
<laughs> and that was our second day in london now our third day was kind of it rained it was miserable it was horrible and so it was a sham to be honest our third day it was monday lara's gone back to work so we were late again into london it's coming There's a big gap there, right? There's a big gap. Find the gap. And we decided to go to the Science Museum. And I had didn't realise at the time, but we've done this before. February half term, if you're in London, the Science Museum and the Natural History Museum don't even bother because it's heaving. It's just ridiculous. We went to the Science Museum because they're both ne next to each other. We went to the science museum because Square was talking about like you wanted to go in a rocket and stuff and so we were like, yeah, we're going to rocket, we're going to see the astronauts. It was just ridiculous. It was so busy. You just like ushered around. Oh, we did go to the, no, we went to the Natural History Museum as well, but we literally didn't even bother. It was like, you, you couldn't read any of the things. Like we've been there a ton of times before, so it wasn't, it didn't really matter, but we kind of went in. We were there for 10 minutes in the uh, Natural History and we were like, no, let's just go. But um, the... Science Museum. That was that wasn't as bad. Exploring space. Whoa, it's me rocket ship. Not like it's oh yeah. We went to this little, like little bubble show. I'm not sure which museum. Yeah, it was the science museum. I we went to this bubble show, which I thought was going to be far more spectacular than it was, but all the kids loved it, so that was fine. Oh my goodness. Me and she I know, yeah. I didn't think it would be this busy. What, they been over the Well, yeah, I know. It was stupid of me. In this show, you might see bubbles that are this big. We were going home at lunchtime, so we did. Squirt wanted to like bus ride. That was all he wanted to do was go on a bus. So we literally went to work with Lara, and then just a bus went past us, and we were like, "Yeah, we'll take that bus." So we just got on. We used our oyster. In London, it's like one pound fifty. You can just swipe swipe your oyster or your cash, yeah, your contactless card, and it's one pound fifty for a bus journey or for like an hour of bus time because you can do. I think you can do two route you could like if your first journey was 15 minutes then you got another bus you wouldn't be charged again it's like one pound fifty for an hour's use of the buses so we did that 
and we just kind of just went wherever it was taking us and we ended up going like over tower bridge we went we got off at trafalgar square and had a little wander around so it worked out quite well we went to covent garden that worked out quite well and then we went to back to lara's work and had lunch she works at the lloyd building in london we went and had lunch with her and we went up oh my goodness like the building if you don't know the lloyd's building this is what it looks like and it's all like inside out everything's on the outside so the lifts are on the outside and the like the storage and stuff i think is on the outside i think it was designed by the same person who did the is it the pompadour in paris we've been there that was that's more colorful that's a nicer building i think but anyway the lloyd's building she works there there's glass lifts on the outside if you know anything about me and watched my traveling you know i'm pe like petrified of heights like i can't even do like escalators and things i'm really scared but I do I, I try not to let it stop me doing things and so we're like a there's a on the 11th floor there's like a viewing area I mean we ended up getting up there and there wasn't really a viewing area but we went up in this glass lift on the outside and oh my goodness it was so scary because you went in and like the first bit was fine you were like you had like a proper floor and everything and you were like felt like you were inside the building which you well you were inside the building and then the bit the next bit was just all glass around you and oh my goodness i st tried to step out there and there's these people like because these people are just like in work like going up and down using the lifts and there's me <laughs> square stephen and lara and we're like square was terrified as well stephen was like oh he was fine no problem <laughs> square was like gripping on to my leg or lara's leg or whatever i'm like come on let's try let's try and walk out to the to the edge of the glass i did do it but oh my goodness i was petrified going up just petrifies me i could do it once we got that like coming back down i could stand there and on the come down it was going up it was just ridiculous but the views from there were fantastic and you could see the walkie i think it was the walkie talkie yeah the walkie talkie building uh fantastic views of that so that was really good i'm glad we did do that but oh my goodness it was petrifying <laughs> came home we had just hopped on the um hopped on the tube over to Euston and got the train back up home I'm glad that we went I do love a good trip down to London I think it's much nicer I mean everywhere is though nicer in the heat when it's when it's warmer because you can just do more it was like the day that we went to the science museum and we like if it wasn't raining that day that we'd just go to I, I like going to the parks around London and things and we couldn't really do that like the plan was to go to like Kensington um gardens where the princess diana park is there's like a, a ship like a pirate ship thing with sand all around it and stuff and we, we used to go there when stephen was little and it's such a nice place and there's so many nice parks around london but we couldn't didn't end up doing any of that but that's okay and that was our time in london i am gonna wrap this video up now thank you so much for watching i am gonna i have got coming up just so you know i've got one video coming up it's a fostering video and then from then i am gonna try and do i want to do weeklies a few people have dm'd me on insta and stuff saying that they are missing the daily vlogs and i do want to i'm missing it myself but i don't I, there's just no way i can do daily vlogs at the moment it's not not really gonna work so i'm thinking i'm gonna do we're gonna give weeklies a try and see how we go with that so hopefully that will be coming well, I've, I've vlogged this week so hopefully in a few days you will get a weekly but thanks so much for watching this and i will see you soon Bye.